Hey, hi, it's Meredith. I'm here with our message for Tuesday, the 19th of May, 2020. We're using Lightseer's Tarot for our message today. We've got two cards off the bottom of the deck, and they are first the King of Pentacles. I'm really glad to see him. You know, we got a mention in yesterday's reading, and uh, so I'm glad he's showing up today. So he holds the Ace of Pentacles, which you all know is a divine and cosmic gift of opportunity, doors of opportunity opening for us, thresholds of opportunity to cross new adventures to await us. And the message of the King of Pentacles is everything that we do is important. It adds to our journey. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the king is quite aware that everything that we're doing in the present pays potential reward forward depending upon our energy investment. So when he shows up, he asks us to have the strength to look within at the energy that we are investing in everything on our foundation. You know, is it paying reward forward to us? Is it paying reward right here, right now in the present moment? And his presence is an opportunity for just that examination so that we can make a change. He's in the suit of pentacles, which is earthy and tangible, touchable reality. You can put your hands on it, make it real, you know. So he is part of the manifestation message we continue to see. And again, I'm going to loop back around here. He's going to ask us to take a look at how we are investing our energy. Where are we bringing it? Uh, are we adding value to our own self relationship by the choices that we make in the present moment? And are we able to take the value of that and keep the flow going onward? So consider it and coming with him. Oops. <laughs> Ten of Cups. How beautiful. You all know and love this card. That's the Ace of Cups to the power of 10. The 10 of Cups is bliss and joy in fulfillment. And again, this is a message that has come to us in repetition in recent weeks. So here we are in full awareness and consideration of what we have to offer every part of what's on our foundation within our own self relationship and how that goes outward into our broadcast and continues to bless us on the return. You know, yesterday we had the magician and we had the emperor. So, you know, we had magic and wisdom tied together. And what were we making of that? You know, how how is our in, inspirational intuition igniting the fire to keep that kind of flow going in our world? And I feel the message continues right here. We're already blessed on this beautiful foundation. And what more is required? Is it simply the 17 seconds of pure thought or more, right? Uh, are we doing that every day? I would say when you look at cards like this, yes, we are. And that's how we invest and participate in the flow. And that's how the flow rewards us back. So be mindful of your environment. Be mindful of your atmosphere. And be mindful of how you respond to all of it. Because Ten of Cups is a choice. It's the choice to be happy. It's the choice to say yes to happiness, to be the love that you are, to shine the light that you are so brightly without backing down, not without shrinking away from that, even within your own self. And we all know that we get challenged with that. <laughs> yes, we do. All right, let's see how these two cards relate. To the rest, now we have the lovers. I was just talking to you about choice. Happiness is a choice. Ten of Cups is a choice. If this is your target, if a Ten of Cups type of lifestyle is your target, what kind of energy are you investing in creating this? And not only creating it, but maintaining it. Mm. The lovers card is about getting to the heart of the matter. And it is also about harmonizing our inner divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Can you imagine a feeling like this? What 
all the emotion, all the feelings that this evokes when we look at it, do you feel this way within your own self? And do you have this to offer? Is it creating a Ten of Cups for you? Hmm. Just keep it in consideration. And if the answer to that is in part or in whole, no, then what have you not considered in terms of your own energetic contribution to co-create this with the divine all? King of Pentacles, manifestation, father of the material. What do you need to do? What kind of energy do you need to bring to the table to create a Ten of Cups foundation, right? Coming with our next is the sun. Well, brilliant clarity. <laughs> Number one on the list. Now, do, do note here we have the Ten of Cups and the sun in the reading. And there's a strong connection here between these two cards. This is love, bliss, joy, happiness, happy homes, happy lives, happy self-relationship, happy relationship with all those nearest and dearest to you in your world. Everything is good and right in the light of the sun. All projects and endeavors started in this beautiful type of energy tend to fulfill really well so here again i'm coming back around to happiness is a choice and some of you might ask well how do you get there if you feel the opposite of that how do you get from point a to point b and it's it's finding at first the smaller things you know maybe maybe your child says something really sweet to you today you carry that in your heart maybe you see i don't know a bird a really colorful, beautiful bird and it surprises you and fills you with delight, right? Maybe you see this teeny tiny little hummingbird <laughs> knowing it has just flown how many thousands of miles, right? Happy, find happiness in the smallest, the simplest, the most profound little things and allow those things to build on one another. And then it, it catches it catches its own wind and gains its own momentum and pretty soon you're attracting more and more and more of that. Perhaps that's why we saw the magician yesterday. And that's nice. Two major arcana cards. We've been seeing a lot of the major arcanas lately. <laughs> and here's one more. The hanged man. Beautiful. So pause for enlightenment. Allow the choices before you Allow them their space, allow them their moments, allow them to show you what's at the heart of the matter, what's radiating from you like the brilliant sun, right? The brilliant clarity of the sun, shining on something in your world today that helps to point you in the direction of your own Ten of Cups. So the Hanged Man is all about uh, taking a look at things from a different perspective and gaining enlightenment from that. What is the Hanged Man connected to? The Ace of Cups. What a gorgeous reading. I mean, look at the high vibe frequency of these cards. The Ace of Cups is the divine and cosmic gift of pure, raw, happy love overflowing into your life. And that's just it. That's the momentum that we're talking about. Now, this is a divine and cosmic gift on offer to us today. This is flowing to us from the universe. This is adding fuel the fuel that is pure raw love to this ten of cups type of energy to getting to the heart of the matter shining the brilliant beautiful love light that we are into the world sharing our enlightenment with those around us and paying attention to our intuition within this enlightenment so that we continue to make choice that fulfills an ace of cups ten of cups sun lovers <laughs> type of lifestyle. How beautiful is that? Mm. Fantastic energy right there. I feel like the cards are saying to us to look in the mirror, look into our own eyes, see what a blessing we are, see what a miracle we are, and then bring that light out into the world. <laughs> All right, Angel Answers. Questions, confirmations, inquiries. Yeah, how sweet. This is, hands down, my favorite Angel Answers card. Big happy changes. 
and this is so in tune with the message here because it's the happy that makes the big change so if you are not feeling exactly like the sun or the ten of cups or the ace of cups right now and you do desire to get to the heart of the matter and gain momentum in that kind of an energy find one small thing to be happy about and then another and another and then use that 17 seconds of pure thought to give you the equivalent of 2,000 action hours in the direction of your goal, your dream, your intention, Ten of Cups, Sun. Okay. Next. Forgiveness. This is the one card I do not elaborate on in this deck because I figure we all know where this most needs to go. So forgiveness, the energy of it is there. Point it in the right direction <laughs> for you. Okay, next. Love this. Yes, it's the sweet, simple one. Yeah, it is that one. That's the choosing, choosing to be happy over something small. Yes, and again, and again, yes, yes, and again. And it, it will gain the momentum that is required to create all of this. And if you're already there with this, keep doing all of this. Keep choosing happiness. Keep going to the heart of the matter. Keep releasing uh, any restriction that you're feeling or resistance that you're feeling. Just look at it lovingly. <laughs> And then, last but not least, communicate clearly. Yes. Yes, see? <laughs> no verbal clutter. Share your perspective. You know, gather yourself if required. If you can't exactly communicate clearly in just this moment, that's all right. Gather your thoughts. Gather your feelings and work them through in your own right way and share them after the fact. Put them into this beautiful, loving overflow of the Ace of Cups. Have forgiveness for whatever's there, right? <laughs> okay, next card. Sometimes it's hard to share or to communicate clearly. And we can have forgiveness for that. So let's just take the foot off the gas there. Don't pressure yourselves to spit out all the right words. Sometimes these things require contemplation, whatever they are. And in that contemplation, we gain the brilliant clarity to get to the heart of the matter so that we are maintaining our Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups style, right? Okay, affirmation for the day from The Universe Has Your Back. We've got, I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. Yes. Mmm, another beautiful summary card right there <laughs> this deck is magic it does it almost every time all right spirit animal for the day mm. this is for you to investigate we have bald eagle <laughs> that's going to be powerful so check that out check that out when you have a moment and then yeah let's do the return of spirit cards Something else to contemplate or meditate upon today. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. This goes hand in hand with the communicate clearly. Use your voice or perhaps your throat chakra needs a little bit of attention and be fearless about it. <laughs> well, I needed that message about two hours ago. <laughs> that's okay I can contemplate and I can continue to choose the happy and I am so yes work on your throat chakra communicate clearly no verbal clutter be fearless about what it is you have to share and it'll come in just the right moment and remember it's the happy that makes the big changes all right everybody thank you so much as always for tuning in watching the videos liking sharing subscribing leaving your comments deeply appreciated my love, joy, happiness, blessings to each and every one of you. Bye for now and namaste.